So you had a few hit it and quit it. You kissed a few frogs. But guess what? This year, especially if you have a personal six year, relationships are going to be highlighted for you. Okay? So be prepared because they're going to be coming left and right. Now you got to use your discernment. Remember, you learned a lot of lessons kissing all these frogs. And you have to determine if these princesses or princes, kings or queens are going to waste your time or they going to be around for a long time. Many of you guys, you moved or will be moving. And that is when you're going to meet your forever person. That's when you're going to meet your twin flame. That's when you're going to meet your soulmate. That is when you're going to meet someone that is going to cater to your needs, meet your needs, and vice versa, okay? For some of you, you've already met your person, and the minute you guys move away from wherever you guys are living at, that's when your relationship is going to blossom even more. Uh, for some of you, you're still juggling. One, one, one on the timer. You're still juggling. You're still dating. You're still out there in the field. You're still hitting and quitting it. And guess what? You will continue to be in that energy unless you change your behavior. One, two, three on my time as I say that. You have to mentally, emotionally, physically, sexually prepare yourself for your partner. If you don't, you're going to keep meeting people that are just like you. Hit it and quit it. Around for a fun time, not a long time. And then for others of you guys, you're learning how to get the fire lit up underneath your ASS and learn how to express your emotions to the people that you care about. Because some of you may feel like you're about to miss an opportunity with someone and it's all due to you not communicating how you feel due to you uh, being afraid that they may not feel the same way. And even if they don't feel the same way, this is practice for you to learn how to communicate what is going on with you emotionally because when you get a partner when you want to get in a marriage you guys are going to have to learn how to understand that communication is key communication coming from a place of love and trust is going to solve a lot of your problems okay so with that said let's see what's going on with the people that are dealing with their forever person that's getting married okay there's going to be a lot of changes okay and i see these changes being abundance I see these changes of being level, like you guys are going to teach each other how to level up. So if you've already met your person or you're about to meet your person, because this may resonate a little bit later on in the year where you finally relocate and then you meet your person, this person, is the, the energy of this relationship, whether you're in it now or you're about to be, this energy is going to be of evolvement, of fast change, of leveling up of being better than who you were the day before type of energy. And it's going to be constant, okay? You guys are probably going to end up working together, creating a family business together, creating some type of abundance together. Even if you're a stay-at-home mom or dad and the other person is the prime primary breadwinner, there is a, a, there's a compatibility, there is a connection, there is a dynamic duo where... It is going to allow more money, more abundance, more tangible things, 333 three, three on the time, as I say that, to come into your relationship, to come into your life. For some of you, you may want to get, um, I'm hearing more bang for your buck. So maybe you and your partner are going to relocate somewhere where the cost of living is cheaper. So you guys can experience having a bigger house, a bigger backyard, um, being able to save more money, go on more trips, whatever the case may be. All right. Um, I do feel that a lot of this energy for some of you if you were never motivated to want more out of life your partner is going to be the one to motivate you because it's like you got to remember you become like the first five people that you're closest to okay and this per 411 on the time as i say that so this person whether this is you or them or the both of you you guys are going to join forces and the energy is going to be unmatched okay divine feminine at the bottom of the deck here baby okay you done kiss a few frogs and you about to get your divine feminine your divine masculine the person that god ordained for you to be with you got male you're going to be hearing from this person soon okay now i'm not saying this is a past person but you may have communication 444 in the time as i say this with your person soon for some of you if you're already with your person they may be texting you right now they may be calling you in a few minutes Okay, so it's like you got lucky. You got lucky. You may feel like you got lucky with this person here. 
when you meet them or now that you're with them, you're like, dag, like I'm the luckiest guy, the luckiest girl in the world. Okay. Let's see what's going on for the, my healing homies that are still juggling out there and playing the field. See, yeah, you guys are entertaining the idea of stability and security with one person. You're entertaining that idea of slowing down, okay? You you may not be fully ready to commit just yet, but you need to start taking yourself seriously. Learn how to commit to yourself. Don't um, just do things just to be doing it. Don't just sleep with people just to be sleeping with them. Commit to yourself being able to just deal with people that are of a certain standard. Have standards, okay, is what I'm hearing. Is Have standards. Don't just be out here just willy nilly in with any and everybody and with this coming out i really do feel like that's what you're doing you're starting to have standards for yourself you're going to start looking at people differently you're going to start looking at these guys and, and women and be like i'm not sleeping with you if i can't see myself you know feeling comfortable enough to have a child with you to to you know share bills with or you know anything that comes with a relationship like if you don't feel secure and safe with the person that you're sleeping with, to have a child with them, to marry them, then you don't need to be with them. And I feel like that's something that you're starting to realize that you have to make better choices with the people that you're dealing with, okay? Because you know when you are an adult and you have sex and things like that, whether you use a condom or not, consequences are babies, STDs, soul ties, and a whole nine, you know? You don't want to sit there and be connecting to people that are going to be towards your demise. You want people that are going to be able to be beneficial in your life and vice versa, okay? Now, for those that, you know, are about to come in heavy with the communication of how they feel because you over here feel like you're about to miss an opportunity. Some of you, this could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or this is not um, their, you know, big three or Venus sign or Mars sign or whatever the case may be, being a fire energy. This could just be someone that knows what they want. They're going to get what they want. However they want it, they're going to get it. Whatever it is that they want, they're going to get it. Um, I got a little tongue tied just now. But this person may or you may... You know what's funny? Because I'm thinking about the song that I that was playing as soon as I uh, got in the shower um, on my phone. And it was Patti LaBelle's song. Um, dang, what was the name of that Patti LaBelle song? And she was like she was going through changes and you just don't know what i'm going through type of energy um i'll write it on there for you guys to uh listen to the song but it's like in the song they were saying like you don't understand like i really care about you i love you you don't understand but i've been like going through some things and maybe i haven't been as attentive maybe i haven't been you know putting in a lot of effort type of energy and i feel like there's somebody coming around that's going to explain to you what it is that they've been going through right and this person may have a difficult time expressing how they feel or this is you and they're wondering they're wondering like do you want me do or, or, do we feel the same are, are we on the same page with everything type of energy here whether this is you doing it or they're doing it but i do feel like maybe this energy you guys started off with lustful energy where you guys were just, you know, a situationship, but then it grew into something more. And you may be feeling the same way they're feeling. And it's like neither one of you are talking about it. But I do see somebody breaking the ice and them coming in and expressing how they truly feel. This could also be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, or someone that's just very grounded. Um, or someone that's just very spontaneous, that's very exciting, you know, type of energy and communication is coming. 